Symphony Fantastique is wild. Berlioz had a lot of feelings, and this whole piece is just an outpouring of romanticism and passion and unrequited love, and it came from a personal story for Berlioz. Berlioz went to see a production of Hamlet, and he became infatuated with the actress playing Ophelia. Her name was Harriet Smithson, and he, he couldn't get over it. He wrote her love letters, and more love letters, and more love letters, <laughs> and none of them were returned. In an attempt to get her attention, he wrote this big, extravagant piece, Symphonie Fantastique. This piece is kind of unique in the world of orchestral music because it's a piece of programmatic music, meaning there's a story. And the story is that the artist dreams up this perfect woman as he imagines her, becomes obsessed, sees her in various different places sort of throughout his life, at a ball, in the country, imagines her with other men, becomes extremely jealous, and when he realizes that he's going to be lonely and she's not going to return his obsession and his affection, he poisons himself with a dose of opium and goes into this psychedelic opium trance where he dreams that he has killed her and then is a witness to his own execution. And then finally in the last movement, he is a guest at his own satanic funeral. It's weird stuff. It's dark stuff, but it's all about obsession. Harriet Smithson was so overwhelmed by the emotion of this piece and the emotion of the composer that they ended up getting married. The English horn in this piece represents a shepherd. It's a beautiful call out over the hills and it's answered by an offstage oboe. So it's like an, an echo from a shepherd in the distance. It changes a bit at the end though and the English horn plays this melody again, but now at the end of the movement, there's no response from the oboe. There's nothing. There's just a rumble of thunder from the timpani. And, and so you're left with this really incredible feeling of loneliness at the end of the movement, which turns even darker as we go forward into the last two movements of the symphony. If you're gonna hang on to one thing throughout this piece, it's this melody that represents the woman with whom the artist is obsessed. Berlioz calls it the idée fixe, or fixed idea, or obsession. And this comes back over and over again throughout the piece, and it's always representing this woman. It comes back one particularly dramatic time at the end of the March to the Scaffold, which is the scene of the execution at the gallows, where we hear it in the clarinet. We hear this melody in the clarinet but only a little bit of it. And then in the middle of the melody, we hear the guillotine fall. And we hear the roll of the drums and the shout of the crowd. And it's, it's very graphic and dramatic. Berlioz was full of feelings and it all comes pouring out in this piece. And there's nothing like hearing it live.